From the moment humanity first sought shelter from the elements, buildings have been more than just structures. They have been sanctuaries, spaces where we work, live, and thrive. But have you ever stopped to think about what truly makes a building healthy? Hello, my name is Bill McQuaid, and I'm the ASHRAE Society President for the 2025-2026 Society Year. Welcome to our video series on healthy buildings. This is a journey, not just about conditioning buildings. It's about creating environments that nurture our well-being at the most fundamental levels. Just as food, water, and air are essential to our survival, so too is the quality of our indoor spaces essential to our well-being and productivity. According to Maslow, the most essential human needs are food, water, air, and shelter. Remove any one of these, and a person cannot be expected to do much in the way of higher level thinking or achievement. Buildings serve as our modern day shelter, yet their role extends far beyond protection. They influence our health in ways we might not always see or feel. In this series, we will explore the key elements that define healthy buildings. We'll start with indoor air quality, a critical yet often invisible factor. Pollutants, allergens, VOCs, and inadequate ventilation can impact not just our comfort, but also our respiratory health and productivity. There is thermal comfort. It's not just about staying warm in the winter and cool in the summer. It's about finding the right balance that lets us live and work effectively, no matter the season. Sound also shapes our experience. In our segments on acoustics, we'll learn how noise pollution can disrupt and focus rest and how smart design can restore peace we crave. Lighting is another cornerstone of health, from natural light that energizes us during the day to calming, dim settings at night. Lighting design has the power to align our buildings with our natural rhythms, increasing our productivity and improving our rest. Next, we'll touch on something as simple as clean tap water. It's essential in our industry, yet many take its quality for granted. Together, we will learn about factors that can affect the quality of the source water entering our buildings and uncover why it's a vital piece of the healthy building puzzle that should not be ignored. We will also learn how indoor environment quality can be measured and assessed. ASHRAE has many resources available in terms of standards, guidelines, tools, and case studies of various building types. Lastly, we will discuss why it's so important to maintain a healthy indoor environment as we decarbonize buildings and improve energy efficiency. Both can be done simultaneously. So why does this all matter? because a building isn't truly shelter unless it protects and enhances our health. Join us on this journey as we redefine what it means to live in harmony with our indoor environments. Welcome to Healthy Buildings.